James Elder, Eiffel TV, in association with NTK Global. With me, I've got Promoter Frank Warren, just witnessed an absolutely cracking card. I hope you might, don't mind my use of the word cracking, Frank. Brilliant show on Fox Nation. It was, uh, it was uh, I thought it was one of our best shows we've had for many, many years. They were all good fights. Um, the uh, main event is a shame the outcome for Tommy, but the, 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 the bill was a, a great bill. Good fights, entertaining fights. And uh, I'm sure the crowd uh, and the fans and the viewers, BT viewers and Box Nation viewers, enjoyed it. Let's start a little bit on first cracking fight between Darren Williams. Well, yeah, turn it on, please. Sorry about that, Frank. Cracking fight between Darren Williams and Jarmaine Smile. Really lit up the TV and everyone did the social media watching the fight at home. It was a real good well, fight. Like it was an old-fashioned fight. I mean, if that had been like years ago, they, they called it a nobbins fight. They For an English title as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, they, like they, they went right to the wire, the pair of them. And, um, yeah, it's fantastic. It was a really good fight. And, These uh, guys are fighting for their lives. You can see it, you know, how much it went. They're, they're fighting for their pride, for their lives. It's their living. That's what they do. Neither of them, they both put it all on the line. It was, uh, you know, I thought it was, uh, it was a fantastic fight. Cracking fight. Tyro Nurse, again, controversy with Joe Hughes. Great fight. Joe yeah, Hughes Joe's done it really well. Again. Uh, funny, at the, uh, I said at the press conference, he's not here to make up the numbers. And that, as it turned out, he come to fight. He took the fight to Tyrone and it was... Uh, you know, it was a very tight contest. Some people had uh, Joe winning, some people had Tyrone winning, so it's a pretty, you know, end of the day, I suppose, fair decision. I want to come on to Tommy Langford now. Firstly, real heartbreak for him tonight. He looked to be in the prime position to capture the WBO interim belt to set up a massive showdown with Billy Joe Saunders for the WBO world title. It hasn't quite worked out for Tommy, but Sidze has really sort of come and upset the apple cart, so to speak. Yeah, he just, uh, you know, he, he, he got careless. Um, I think the first round showed you what was good, you know, that, uh, he's obviously dangerous, and he is dangerous uh, at sea days. And, uh, but Tommy sort of got himself into the fight, and when he was using his jab and he was boxing, and you know, and not staying there, not getting clips, he was he was doing okay. But he got a little bit careless, got caught, and that was it. He's a good bang of the guy. He's got, you can see by his uh, record how many knockouts he's got. But now he's at, at least now the, the British fans know who he is, and. Um, He's got a fight now, Billy Joe Saunders. Frank, we've just come to the press conference now. No one's seen this as of yet. We've seen Billy Joe Saunders and Kutzidze almost come to blows. It looked like Billy Joe Saunders was offended by something that Kutzidze or his team had suggested and said. It's then kicked off a huge sort of intense altercation that's gone on for, for a little while of time. Can you sort of give us your view on it? You was banging in the middle of it. What well, it's just, I, I don't know what was said. You know, Bill's, I think Bill's very frustrated anyway. His fight, fight was supposed to have happened in June with uh, Golovkin. That's been, there's been a lot of to and fro over that. We're still are working on, not for June, we're still working on that fight. But in the meantime, Bill's got to be busy. He's got a fight and he wants to be fighting him. And we've, we've got a date books for the 8th of July and that's when he'll be fighting. So he'll be facing his mandatory, which is Avondale Kirk Skidzay. Correct. That's, that's what we want to be doing. I said, most people would have probably heard of Kirk Skidzay, but may not have been familiar with him other than Box Nation viewers, because such a hardcore group of boxing people that watch Correct. the channel. So, Correct. so now, now we're on B team, we've got a bigger platform. Potentially and, uh, could be a big fight for Billy Joe. Well, it will be a big fight. I mean, there's no love lost there. And I think, I think Bill's looking to, you know, get that ring rust out. He's looking to, to show everybody what he's all about. And, uh, you know, he's still, uh, and he is a name to be reckoned with. And uh, obviously, this guy was ranked number one by the WBO, uh, who's come over here and into our man's backyard and, and won the uh, interim title. He knows... Billy knows what he's got, you know, he's got a tough fight in his hands. It must be frustrating for yourself and Billy Joe, the fact that you haven't managed to get the Golovkin fight for whatever reason over the line, having put, invested, and invested so much time, effort and interest well, we've in We've the money fight. in this fight, you know, we had to put, we put this fight and it was all part of the deal. It was uh, Alex from Luda Bella's uh, uh, organisation said, you know, we worked very hard all of us to, to get, to enable Bill to get the shot against Golovkin, including Golovkin's people, and that, that meant us putting on the interim title, giving this guy, besides step aside money, giving him a job, and uh, that's what we did. Um, but now Bill's going to fight him, so that's where we are. Is it is the implications of the show you're showing on May the 6th, Canelo versus Chavez Jr., has that got anything to do with Golovkin's story, to feel he's sort of waiting yeah, of the I think I, I don't think he was going to fight anyway in June, I think, he's, I think he's had a very busy 
period and that fight with uh, uh, Jacobs, his last fight, um, I think he need, in camp felt that he needed a rest after that and that's what they're doing, and that's sort of what's happening. Uh, there's all talk of him fighting Canelo, providing Canelo beat Chavez on the 6th uh, in September. I'm, I'm, not too, I'm, I'm very sceptical that that fight will even happen. I know it's a good show, Frank, when you've got Claret on the white shirt. I can see Well, actually, it's a, red, it's a red shirt and I've got white paint on. Whose Claret is that? Do you know? Do you remember when that's that splash of it? Oh, no, there's too much of it all over the place tonight. I've got to say as well, Leon Woodstock. Great win for him, capturing his first title. Listen, Paul I've, I've been a big believer in him, nuts and I've, I've really rated him. And uh, I mean, the first round was quite rocky for him. I thought, you know, and he had to, and he showed that he could. Met, he manned up, and he had eight fights to give, eight fights, gritted his teeth, and you know, came back into the fight and done it in style. He is, he is one, he is one to watch. Two fighters that certainly impressed uh, BT Sports viewers tonight. They've been doing the boxing action for some time now. Daniel Dubois just started to get in. Yes, yeah. Anthony Yard as well. Again, showing pure devastation. You say that it's, it's, it's like patience as well. It's not like he comes out swinging like a lunatic. He went out there and he, he sort of took his time. And so when he got when he got the opening, he just lets his shots go. He's got such fast hands, great combination, and did what he had to do. I think he broke the guy's ribs, though, I believe. And uh, Daniel, you know, he done what he had to do. He's only, he's only a kid. He's 19 years of age. Same thing. Very fast hands. And you know when he catch when he starts catching them, they're in trouble. And he and he, 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 he did what he did what we all know he's capable of doing. He stopped people. Um, and you get back to Anthony. Remember, he only had what was it, 11 fights as an amateur, and he's had what, 12 fights now, 10 fights. Or so this was his 10th fight. Yeah, so he's had 20 fights, 21 fights in his, in his career. I and mean, these guys, you know, who had treble that as amateurs before they turn pro so you know he's they're, they're both both exceptional exceptionally good talent and their their work their what they call work in pros in progress and we've got to just make the right moves at the right time i'm not rushing anybody i'm not doing that when they're ready to go they'll go well, they are exciting fighters. Confirmed date for Billy Joe Saunders versus Adam Deal, Club Quinto. Well, we want to go, as you, as you heard, on the 8th of July, and that's the date we're looking to do. Bill will fight on the 8th of July. London? London. Copper box. Okay. okay, thanks, mate. Congratulations on a great show. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much for giving me something to try. I appreciate it, mate. Top man. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you.